Something's and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be getting ready using products I have never used before. So this entire thing are products I have never used before and it is like full. And then I also just found all of these that are unopened and never used before. And I probably have many more in that container thing down there. The reason I have so much is because I get PR packages and also my mom for Christmas every year gets me a year of Ipsy, which is like a prescription where they send you stuff. Not sponsored, I just use it. It's basically a way to try out new makeup, but I never try it out because once I find things I like, I just stick with them. I don't want to mess with it. I don't really know how to do makeup that well, so this is going to be very interesting. So let's go ahead and get ready. Also, if you hear things, my cat is like playing right now. Behind me, you can probably tell my room looks a little different. Got a bookshelf going. I did a whole remodeling my room and that video will be coming soon. So stay tuned. I'll do a room tour, all of that. Anyway, let's get started. I don't even know where to begin. So apparently this is primer. It is MAC Prep Plus Prime. So ah, I am just gonna, oh my gosh, I'm already failing at everything. I'm just gonna put this on my face. Here we go. I never use primer, so this is weird for me. I honestly don't even understand what it does, but we're here. Ooh, it makes my face feel really fresh. I like that. Okay, so far so good. I'm loving this. It actually doesn't feel too crazy on my face. I almost just fell off my stool. So next I'm kind of looking for like bronzers or blushes, stuff like that. Or maybe some concealer. I could really use some concealer, but I don't know if I have any. Yes, we found some bronzer. Oh, but I think I like this one better. First, I'm just going to try to organize all this and put it in like bronzer, blushes, highlights, eyeshadows, because I am just so confused right now. have all my products set out in categories so I don't get lost and confused. I have never used any of these products before. I always stick to mine as I said before so let's just start things out. This one I actually bought at Marshalls and never used. It's just like a bare minerals powder. Let's give it a whirl. See how it goes. Okay, now we are moving on to our bronzer. Unfortunately, I also don't have any blush. I have a billion highlights, but bronzer it is. Let's get going with the bronzer. All right, this is the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. I actually heard really good things about this. And I got it in my Ipsy bag. Okay, so far I'm actually really liking this bronzer. So I have some like super sparkly highlight and then I have some like just chill highlight. This one is brand new, so I think I'm gonna go for this one. And it looks the most like subtle, I guess, even though it's still really sparkly. Oh, wow. Okay, you barely need to put any of this on. O-F-R-A, Ofra, Highlight Rodeo Drive. Okay, that's what it is. I'm not huge on intense highlights, so I don't know if I would use this unless I was going to like a dance or something where it's more acceptable to look a little bit wild. Moving on to my eyeshadow. Now I have so much eyeshadow. I've got mostly sparkly eyeshadow to be honest, <laughs> but I have a few mattes and I'm probably gonna have to go for sparkles. There are some really, really pretty colors in here though. Ooh, blue or purple. Okay, let's see what I can work up with this. Excuse me. Okay, um, usually when I do my eyeshadow, I just put one color kind of everywhere to like base coat my eyes, I guess. But like, this is the most chill color that's matte that there is, and it's kind of out there, so I don't know. We're just gonna see how this goes. Okay, wow, that is like pretty bright. I feel like the eyeshadow is definitely what makes or breaks the makeup look because everyone is looking at your eyes. This is the part that I'm worst at, so go me. Not too bad so far. Um, then I always like to take a darker color and put it on the outside. Color up in the corner right here. I'm gonna try that one out. Okay, I mean, we're just, we're not looking too terrible at 
So I'm gonna take this Luna eyeshadow, the color Jace, and put it into my crease. This is definitely turning into a very like purpley pink type of vibe, I guess. So I kind of want to try this straight up purple sparkly eyeshadow space case in the color Alien Love Child. So I'm gonna put this on my lid. Wow. It's actually really pretty. It like reflects kind of. So it's like a subtle flex. <laughs> Not to flex, but. It makes my eyes really shiny, but never in a way that I've seen them shiny before. Like they're reflective almost. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a darker sparkle and put it on the outside. I don't know, we're just having some fun. I can't believe I've never tried this color. This is so pretty, the Bootylicious color. Like, just get in on that. So, here's the big debate I'm having right now. I never wear eyeliner, but this video is trying new products, trying new things, you know? So I'm kind of thinking that I should try it. And I even have this really fancy one that's like a wing tip. So I might be able to do it, but I'm so scared. And like the eyeshadow is so pretty and I don't want to mess it up. I think we're gonna tip the eyeliner. I'm really scared on this one. I have this like mirror, but I don't know what to like attach it to. Here, I'll just... I'll just put this mirror in my lap, you know? Wow, my shadow is so pretty. Oh, I accidentally blinked. But it's not too terrible, I guess. Yeah, um, I tried to do a little bit of wing. It's definitely not gonna happen. Okay, I feel like I didn't do terrible. It's just that eyeliner makes me look emo. I don't know. I naturally have really dark eyes and it just makes me look a little emo. And the fact that I dress a little bit emo with all my chains, I don't need anything making me look more emo. So this will never be a thing for me again. So the next thing, I don't have any eyebrow pencils in my Ipsy bags, but I do have this brown eyeliner. So I'm going to use it on my eyebrows and probably look really bad, but we're just, I need eyebrows, okay? All right, let's see what kind of color we're working with. Okay, it's a little bit darker than I would like. I need to brush them first. It's really, really dark. Oh my gosh, that looks so bad. All right, so we're gonna do a little DIY eyebrows. So we're gonna take eyeshadow, get a nice little thin brush, and DIY some eyebrows. I actually used to do this in middle school before I ever had like an eyebrow pencil and it looks terrible. I don't know why I used to do this. Now I have extremely dark eyebrows, which is absolutely perfect. They're not terrible. They're definitely not great. I kind of look good right now. Now time for mascara. So in my Ipsy bag, I have two mascaras. Look at what we got going on. I like this one because it has pretty packaging. There's like stars on it. Okay, they look like the same wand and stuff, so I'm just gonna use the one that looks prettier in the packaging. Okay, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. Hey. Hi. What's up? Ace, you have friends here. I'm filming a video. Do you guys wanna come say hi to the camera? This is my cousin's daughter, Aubrey. Say hi. hi. <laughs> I'm babysitting them, and I completely forgot, but they just came in, so have fun. Okay, this mascara, actually, I really like it. And with the eyeliner and the mascara, it actually looks really good. So, I'm loving this. I should have done this sooner. And I'm done. This is what I look like, final product. I actually really like it, and it was fun trying out all of this makeup that I've literally never used. I look like I'm glowing. I should definitely use all this makeup more often. I love the eyeshadow. Mascara looks great. I didn't ruin the eyeliner and the eyebrows aren't as bad as I thought. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have a bunch of makeup you've never tried, then try it because it was fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Stay tuned for my room tour.